Hello, I'm still here, Church Street, Liverpool City Centre, on this, it's warm, busy, but looks like it's going to start raining, in fact I think it is, so I'll get another video out. Ian Bain, my MP, don't think, sir, I'm unjustly having a go at you, I'm not, I'm just highlighting the hypocrisy and the audacity of refugees welcome. You don't believe that, and, and you know you don't. Where are you originally from? Stockbridge Village, formerly Cancel Farm. You'd have went round there, Camberson, refugees welcome. You'd have been told where to go, and rightly so. Right. How can you even come out with such nonsense, refugees welcome, without at least seriously looking into it and what that actually entails for the city? What does it mean when you say that? Does it mean 20, 100? 10,000 indefinite over a 20 year, year period. What does it mean? That's what I'm saying, right? You have to look into it seriously, sir, and then get all the right information. And then if you believe that you believe in it, then yeah, refugees welcome, but you don't. Refugees welcome, right? Let me tell you, that just means indefinite dispersal of new arrivals in our city period now if that continues then we lose our scouts character identity and culture right you'd have to be an idiot not not to grasp that and you're not an idiot well you're not a total idiot anyway right so i'm not having a go at you unjustly right i'm bringing this message to the good people of this city as to what is happening right i know there's people that don't like me making these videos and i'm sure if they could stop me they would but come on democracy free speech uh, i come down here and i'm i'm a gentleman i talk to everyone hello to all i don't care who they are what background i'm courteous and i'm polite and i speak to all uh people in the city center as i say where, wherever they're from whoever they are so if you don't like my criticism then the answer is to reply back but no one does everyone's silent right Everyone just wants to pretend that nothing's happening when it is. You've only got to walk in and around the city centre or around Kensington and Fairfield and you can see what's happening. It's not Joe Owens causing trouble. Listen, let me tell you, I come down here at my own expense. It costs me money to get down here and to have something to eat and a coffee and go and read a book and water stones for a bit, have another coffee and go here and go there. It costs me money, time, time efforts and money. There's other things I'm sure I could do. But I do this because I know the seriousness of what's happening in our city, right? It is serious because I've watched how other towns and cities across the country have changed. And they have changed so much, there's no changing them back. It's gone. Are we just going to allow that to happen to our city? Well, the answer is no, we can't. We have to oppose it. Well, I'll, I'll oppose it. I believe it, it should be opposed. You see, as I said, Mr. Byrne, I'm not unjustly having a go at you. Right, far from it. But refugees, welcome is a load of nonsense. And also your hypocrisy. All your Jeremy Corbyn supporters stopped, hasn't it? All your pro-Palestinian posts on social media, they've all stopped because you've been told by the cursed armour uh, Labour, that, that's not appropriate now. So poor Jeremy's dumbs. Whatever one thinks of Jeremy Corbyn, he's not. A, I'm not a friend of jail support of Jeremy Corbyn, but at least he sticks to his guns, doesn't he? What he believes in. Unlike you, Mr. Ben, right? You've tasted the money now, and that's what this is all about. So you'll go along, okay, sir? You'll go along with what has to be said because you, you're on the gravy train now. You're part of it. So I bring this message again to the good people of this city because this message needs bringing that our, our city is undergoing profound cultural change. And if it's not opposed and stopped, we're going to lose our city. It's that simple. OK, thank you. What do you think about the narrative at the moment to people crossing the channel? How do you think that we should be tackling the small boats crisis? It's quite simple. Refugees, welcome. 